Welcome back to another vlog. It's Saturday and I'm so happy it's the weekend. I slept in my new pink Skims pajamas last night and they are so cute. This color is so fun for the summertime and I just love pink. It's my favorite. But I am just so excited that it's the weekend. I got up and was editing for a little while. I woke up at like 7 this morning and I just like got up naturally at that time. I didn't set an alarm which I usually don't on the weekends because if my body needs extra sleep then I just like to get as much sleep as I can because that's like so important for your body and like your health. But I got up and I just couldn't sleep any longer so I edited and now it's 9.30. I also made myself a latte and it tastes so good i'm waiting for brandon to wake up because i want to see like what our plan is for today if we're gonna like go out for coffee or breakfast or if we are gonna make something i think we might um do a couple returns and some shopping in downtown summerlin today or we'll do that tomorrow and then tonight we have dinner reservations at carbone and I cannot wait to go to that restaurant. It's a super fancy restaurant here in Vegas. And we're going with his parents and his oldest brother and sister-in-law. And our dinner reservation is at 7.30. So it'll just be like a pretty chill day. And then we'll end up going to dinner. Anyways, I need to like get changed soon and get dressed. I wanted to light this candle actually. This candle makes my entire apartment smell like coffee because it's in the like espresso scent. It's from Anthropology, and I love their candles. My flowers still look super cute. I also just opened up this package. Peak sent me a restock of their products, which is super nice. I love these packets. This one is their BT Fountain Beauty Electrolyte Packets, and then this is their Sun Goddess Matcha, and they are so good. I am going to just like fill up my drawer and like put them in the containers that I have in there. I put these in my water all the time to like replenish my electrolytes, and I also love making matcha at home. I don't know what this is, but we'll see. Oh, really cute. It's a little glass cup so I can make my matcha in that. And then I got a rechargeable frother. This is such a nice little package. I love having a milk frother and this one is like really, really nice. And I've never seen one that has like the double whisk on it. So that's cool. These are my summer makeup favorites. Just like products I use on a daily basis. I love this CC cream. It's the It Cosmetics one. I think that it has like good coverage. 
It also has SPF and I wear this in the shade light. I've been wearing this for years. And then the Kosas Concealer, which I don't think looks cakey at all. This is my favorite blush. It's the Makeup by Mario one. And, oh whoops, um, I get this in the shade, I think it's like pink petal or petal pink. No, pale petal and it's so cute. And then I wear the Rare Beauty contour stick. I also really like the color of this and I'll just do like some on a brush, but it's in the shade Happy Soul. And then I also do like a little bit of bronzer, especially to like blend out the color in my neck because I feel like my skin on my face is just so much lighter. And this is in the shade Medium, but it's a really good bronzer. I'll do a little bit of setting powder, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush airbrush flawless finish and then lastly this summer friday's lip butter balm this pink color is so adorable since i have my eyebrows microbladed i don't really wear anything on them and i love the way that they healed i'm so happy that i finally got them redone because it had been so many years and i think the coloring just like looks a lot better now so sometimes i'll do a little bit of like the benefit brow gel and I need to buy a new one of the clear just because sometimes I like the way that it like holds the shape of my brows but like coloring wise I think they like look good my eyebrow hairs literally don't grow you guys I don't know why but like I do not have to get my eyebrows waxed I haven't gotten them waxed since like high school and they just like don't grow thicker because I wanted my eyebrows to be like a little bit bushier. You know how like some people have that look with like bushy brows and when you get them, is it laminated? They like look so good and mine just don't do that. So that's kind of why I wanted to get them microbladed because I felt like my eyebrow hairs, especially with being blonde, they were like non-existent. Also, I get questions about this, but my hair is natural like the color of my hair i've never gotten it dyed before and when i was in high school i really wanted to dye my hair and my mom never let me she was like no you're not allowed we just should leave your hair color how it is because it's so pretty and you'll regret it later because she had dyed her hair and now i'm so grateful that she never let me dye my hair because i love my hair color in a way, I feel like my hair just like looks um, different at different seasons because when it's summertime, it gets so much lighter and sometimes I like to put like lemon juice in it when I'm in the sun just to kind of like naturally lighten it, but it looks blonder when I'm in the sun more. So it's almost like I dye my hair, but I don't. So I like the color that it is and I'm just like really happy that I never colored it and I've just been loving my hair longer. So many of you guys have been saying that my hair is so long because you've been here for a couple years and you've gone through my hair growing journey with me because I had cut it really short if you guys are new and it was like chin length. I've actually been taking some vitamins from JS Health. They are, they're like hair ones and it helps with hair growth. And Lauren actually texted me a picture of her hair from like a year apart and she's been taking those vitamins too and her hair looks so good and it has grown so much. I feel like you can see my makeup so much better in this lighting. I just like think it's the easiest summer makeup. And I also really like having my eyelashes lifted and tinted because I don't wear mascara that much in the summer. Like I'll do mascara if I'm going out for dinner and I want my eyelashes to like look dark and then maybe I'll do like eyeliner. But during the day, especially when you're like swimming and being in the pool, it's nice because then you never have like mascara dripping down your face. So I just love it. it looks so good, especially wearing pink. I'm like, it's so cute. So I'm going to get dressed. I laid out this little set that I can wear today. It's a white tank from Gilly Hicks and then also little activewear skirt and I just thought that this would be really cute if we're running errands or if we go get a coffee or something and then I'll just do a pair of Aritzia 
TNA ankle socks. This is the outfit. It's so cute. Also, how adorable is my mirror, you guys? Way more the vibe, and I just love it. But I was going to wear this with some ankle socks, but I just felt like it didn't look that good. It made my legs look shorter. I don't know. I just think it looks better without the socks. So, doing that with this bag, and I'm going to head out. went to downtown Summerlin and shopped a little bit because he needed to get some shorts for the summer so we went to Nike but the Nike there isn't very big like they don't have that good of inventory the one at Caesars Palace is a lot better so we're gonna plan like another day to go to Nike I just opened all these pieces that I got from Hollister I wanted to give you guys a haul and just like show you everything that I got they actually gifted all of this to me and it is just like so crazy getting stuff from brands that I really love and Hollister and Gilly Hicks their stuff is so good and just like so affordable and I just feel like it's a full circle moment for me because growing up I would go on these father-daughter dates with my dad. He was gone a lot. He fishes in Alaska, and he's usually gone like six months out of the year. So when he would come home from fishing, we would do these dates, and he would take me out to lunch, and we would go shopping, and he would always ask me where I wanted to shop, and every single time it was Hollister, he would take me there and just like sit in the chair while I walked around, picked out clothes, tried them on, and then he would buy it for me, and when we would go out to eat, and it's just like a core memory of like my childhood and like growing up because I always looked forward to our shopping dates because he was like gone and it was like something special that we got to do. So the fact that they like send me clothes now, it's just like insane. So I'm just like so grateful and yeah, huge thank you to them. But I'm going to, um, I think, try it on for you because I can like hold it up, but I feel like showing it on is like better. I got this graphic tee, which is so soft. And this definitely runs oversized because I got this in an extra small. And then I also got this skirt, which I love this skirt. The skirt I got in a two extra small, and I'm glad that I did so that it wasn't too big in the waist. And I like that it's longer and like really flowy, but I thought it would be cute with like a graphic tee just to wear casually with like sambas or you could even do the skirt with like some flip-flops. I also got the skirt in white because I had a feeling I was going to love it and it's just so cute. I actually don't have a white maxi skirt and I just think it is adorable. It actually might be a midi skirt. It just like looks more maxi on me because I'm only... 5'1 for reference, but I just think it is so cute for the summer and I love a white on white outfit So I just got this white tank, which it's a little see-through So I just put a bralette under but I feel like most white shirts are how cute is this dress you guys? I love the baby blue and also the sleeves you can wear it above the shoulder or you can also do it off the shoulder and I just really like the style of it it also has these built-in shorts under, which is nice if you want to wear it like out and about. You don't have to worry about it like coming up or being too short. Next up is this white dress, which this might be my favorite piece in the haul. I feel like you can never go wrong with a white dress for summer that's longer because then you can wear it to like pretty much anything. You can dress it up or down with different shoes. So this is just a really great basic to have in your wardrobe. And I think the top is cute with like this little bow. I got the dress in the blue floral as well because they had a couple different colors. And I just really like longer dresses. They just look so classy. And I thought that the blue was like cute for summer. So such a great dress and really affordable. 
The straps are also adjustable on it, so I just think that this is such a great item. But I will have everything linked for you guys in the description box in case you want to get any of it. But I just think it is super cute. You really like can't go wrong with any of the pieces that I showed you. you guys it's Tuesday and I don't remember exactly what I vlogged last so I'm sorry about that I was vlogging on Saturday and we were supposed to go to Carbone for dinner but it just didn't end up working out so we rescheduled it for August 5th which is a month away so stay tuned for when I actually go to that restaurant but I had a great weekend I just relaxed on Sunday and yesterday I just had like a really busy work day so I wanted to continue the vlog today. The reason we had to reschedule the dinner for so far, my arm is getting tired, um, is because we all have like trips and things coming up in um, the next couple of weeks and Brandon and I are actually leaving this weekend and I'm so excited. So I was super busy yesterday because now I have like a lot to do to get ready for the trip, but we're going to Laguna and I literally can't wait. Laguna is like one of my favorite places and it's so cool that it's only a couple hour drive. Like I think it's crazy that we can road trip there but we're going for Brooke's birthday. Her and Michael are going there to celebrate and they invited us this past weekend. So we were trying to like plan that a little bit and Brandon and I are gonna leave on Thursday. And then we're gonna stay either until Saturday or Sunday. We're not really sure yet. We're just kinda go with the flow and see how the weekend goes. But since we're leaving, I have like vlogs to get uploaded and I have some sponsorships to film and I've just been all over the place. Yesterday, I took his BMW to um, the shop because the rims are bent and we wanted to get those fixed and so we might be driving the BMW, we might not. It's at the shop, so we're kind of just like waiting to see what happens with that. I have another busy day. I'm getting my nails done because I want them to be fresh for the trip. And these are just like pretty grown out. So I'm gonna go do a pedicure and a manicure because like I need to get my toes done too. And then I'm also gonna go work out and do my leg workout because yesterday I trained upper body. So I'm gonna do that at EOS. We're going to Javier's for dinner one of the nights when we're there, which will be so fun. It's one of my favorite Mexican restaurants and they have one at the Aria here in Vegas, but Brandon said that the one in California is like way better. So I'm excited to celebrate her birthday, go out to dinner and do that, and then we'll just be at like the beach a lot. But I was also going to update you guys because I actually ordered a new rug for my office. I just wasn't really loving the one that I got. I love the color of it, but the only thing I don't like is that it's pretty lumpy. And I learned in one of Arvin Alano's videos recently that a rug on carpet is better if it has a cotton backing and this one doesn't. So it has a lot of movement and it's just like not staying down. And even if I got something to put under it, like a rug pad or whatever, I just would rather have like a thicker rug, I think, and one that works well on carpet. So I ordered another one from his collection because I was actually debating on this one or this one. And this one has a bit more contrast too, so I think I might actually like this one better. You can already see that this rug is a lot thicker just by like the size of it. 
This one is also so much heavier. It's crazy. Ooh, this is pretty. I feel like the quality of this one is so much better. I love the way that this rug looks in here. Holy cow. It is so much warmer. There's more contrast and I just think it is so good for this space. And here you can see the cotton backing. It's just a lot thicker and it's better quality for sitting on top of carpet. So I'm really happy that I decided to just order another one and switch it. It looks so good in here. And then when I get my desk chair and I can put this in the corner, it'll all be so cute. I'm gonna make an egg scramble for breakfast and then I'm gonna leave to get my nails done. So we're just gonna do two scrambled eggs I have some sausages on, and then I'm gonna add some veggies to it. I'm just about to leave downtown Summerlin. I came here to get Brooke a birthday present. I ran into Sephora and one of the things I got her is the Makeup by Mario blush stick in the shade Pale Petal. This is one of my favorite products. I'm like obsessed with it. And the color is so good for summer. It's like the prettiest pink. And I always think it's a good idea to get somebody something that you love because then they'll probably love it. And I just really think that she will love this. Um, so I got that and oh I also went and got my nails done and they are so cute. I just got bubble bath on my fingers and I also did a pink color on my toes and I had to see a different girl because the girl that I usually see is still on her trip and so I was kind of bummed about that because I still like the way that my regular girl does them the best but anyways did my nails then I went to the gym and I had a good workout for like the most part like the beginning was good and then when I was deadlifting I tried to go heavier and I think I kind of hurt my back because my form just like ended up being bad and so the end of my workout was just like not great I did some cardio and now I'm like I don't know so sore like honestly really hurts so i think i'm gonna go to brandon's we're gonna have dinner i need to go pick up some ibuprofen because it's like actually really bothering me and then i'm just gonna relax for the rest of the evening so i think i'm going to close this vlog out here but i hope you guys enjoyed watching it make sure you're subscribed because i have fun videos coming up i'm gonna be like packing and prepping for laguna tomorrow and then obviously we'll have the laguna vlog so i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next video bye